Hi there. Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to 30 minutes of my day. Oh, I'm, I, everything's getting all covered up. I don't know why I put him there. He just looked like a handsome fella and he didn't end up in any journals. So he's on my, he's on my good morning card. <laughs> ah, how things work. Um, I, I'm doing a little work on uh, Juliet as she seems to be getting called. Hold on, let me grab her basket here. Um, I've got her, I've got her signatures mostly done, although I'm going to change them a little bit. They have been in the press, so they're nice and flat. I put these away the other day. These were from Camille and some happy mail from Camille. Do you see how they've got that beautiful shimmery gold marbling in them? And I think I want to put them into Juliet. So where is she? Here she is. I've got her, I've got her old text block in there. It just helps protect the new spine that I've given her. So there we go. So she's all, she's all lovely. Um, the last time we got together, we worked on this, which I love. You can even feel it's a little bit dimensional. And I just love that. I've saved my experiment page. Where'd it go? Because I like it. I want to find something to do with it. That was the page that I experimented all the stains on. <laughs> I got to find something to do with that because that just, that looks really cool. Um, anyhow, so I, I think what I want to do with these is, I feel like I'm going to be maybe turning on and off today. I, it's actually later in the day for me. I've been working on paperwork once again for my mother, uh, for my mother's estate. And um, so if my phone rings, how many pages do, oh, look at that one. <gasps> I love that one. Um, if my phone rings, it's probably hubby saying, I'm on my way home. Okay. Yeah, I like these too. So we will put these ones, put these ones in. Now, that's a lot. Where is my template? I do have a template somewhere. Oh, even just a folded page will help because I want to, I want to do a torn edge on it. That'll do. That will do. So it's just on the one side. That's okay. That's all right. <sighs> Anyhow, so hubby could phone at any second. You might hear my phone and I'll go, oh, hold on. It's because it's him. And, and he's all done for the day and coming home. So I want to leave myself enough room so I can tear. There we go. And sometimes if you don't leave enough room for tearing, um, the tearing can go badly. Do that one. Let's do. Oh my goodness, these are pretty. You'll see what I mean in a second if you're wondering. What do you mean enough room for tearing? If you've got a tear edge ruler, I bet you already know what I'm talking about. Alright, what is that? There's a little bump in the paper, and that's normal. Yet yeah, there's something in there. I wonder if I should try and scratch it out. It looks, no, it's probably a fleck of paper. I'm holding it up to my window here. Yeah, it's probably a little fleck of paper. That's all right. All right, so, um, pencil, pencil. So this is just a page out of the book, uh, the, the original text block. Um, yeah, so I've been doing paperwork all day all day i was tr whenever you need to find one piece of paper that's the one you can't find right that's the rule anyways that's that's sort of like 
subsection 19 clause 2a of uh, <laughs> of Murphy's law the one paper you're looking for will be the only one you don't find you'll find all the others okay and so this needs to I want to tear it actually a little I want it to come out a little bit further <laughs> I have been, to my credit, I have been redoing, resorting all my laces and putting them onto. Nancy inspired me when she sent me. Uh, some sari silk. It was on this beautiful collaged sort of a cardboard spool <laughs> thing and it was so pretty. <laughs> um, so I've actually, I made some more. I, I made, that's my little note for myself that I know Nancy sent me that lace as well. Um, and I made a few collaged ones and I soon grew weary of it and I also uh, you know what, I just don't have enough glue to be making these. So it, it was fun for about, I think I made six spools and the rest I'm making, I'm just cutting them out of cardstock. So, um, so I have been doing that, but that's not really camera worthy, you know? All right, so this is going to be cut. I did find my blades for my uh, for my cutter, so that was nice. Wonder if I'll use that or not. All right, so this needs to be. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! I almost tried to cut it with or rip it with a regular ruler. All right, so let's do this. So see how this, it's not very big. Um, that can make it really hard to tear. Tiny little, uh-oh, are you not? There's fibers in this paper and it doesn't want to tear. Well, you pick, you chose the wrong crafter to give me a hard time. Ho, 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 I have ways. Wow, this is tough, but I want it. Wow, I had to yank on that. Let's flatten that out. Oh, well worth it. That looks nice. Yes, okay, I'm happy. I think I want that. For the new first page yes and I wanted it to stick out a little bit you know what I might do that third one and put it in the center of the book and that would give lots of rough edges I think I might because I only have three of these and I might as well put them all into Juliet right yeah this must be this must be homemade paper because this one feels a little lighter in weight than that one did now yeah. how wide do I need this because I need a little more room let's go there hmm. but I eventually did find the paper that I was looking for of my mother's papers so that's good but then I had phone calls to make and emails to make and copies to take and oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. To quote Shirley Temple. So if I go there and then bring it up just a smidge 
That'll work. We shall try again. Yeah, see, this one's a little easier. It's not as thick as that first one was. So these, these must be not only hand marbled with the gold, but handmade. Yeah, that looks nice. And of course, you know what I'm craving to do there, but I'll wait and see because I'm really, really craving to, to ink that. I'm going to put it this way because I can't see that line. There we go, that's better. I got to talk to my one of my brothers today. That was nice. We had a good old gab session for quite a long time. Nice to hear from him. Actually, I talked to my other brother too today. So that was nice too. Now if I could only talk to my third one. Well, I talk to him all the time. And I swear he sends me messages. And that's nice too. Do you ever have something that you look for? From someone you've lost? Just that it's a little... A little sign that they're saying, hi. That's my thing with uh, my brother, Mark. He loved Gordon Lightfoot. Loved Gordon Lightfoot. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Gordon Lightfoot is a Canadian singer-songwriter. Um, anyhow, I feel like whenever I turn on my radio and, it's, and Gordon Lightfoot's on, that's Mark's way of saying, hey, Kath, how you doing? And that's exactly what he would say. <laughs> he was, uh, I remember the morning of the, um, the first anniversary of his death. And I remember my alarm going off because I had to work that day. So my alarm was set. And I remember... You know how you're awake, but you haven't opened your eyes yet? And, uh, and your alarm hasn't gone off yet. And I remembered laying there and thinking, oh, wow, today's the one year anniversary of Mark dying. I wonder, I wonder how I'll do today. I wonder how I'll be, you know, whether I will, whether I'd be upset or whether I, you know, just get through my day or I, I just remember laying there. I was single back then, and I remember laying there and thinking, I wonder how I'll be. And then my, my radio clicked on, and it was Gordon Lightfoot singing, and he was singing, it was the song, um, The Wherefore and the Why, and it was, When I woke this morning, something inside of me told me this would be my day. And I thought, hi, Mark. <laughs> and you know what? It was nice. I thought that was his little way of saying, Hi, Kath. How you doing? <laughs> All righty. There we go. That's a funny little thing to be off topic, but I guess, no, not really, because I was talking about how I spoke to my other two brothers today, which was a nice thing to do. There we go. I think that balances out those little rough edges. Now I may, I think I may pull out some of my blank ones in here. I have some tea dyed blank ones and I may put in some more torn edge ones so I get a little more uniformity. If you can see here, there's a big wide area here and here that's smooth and not rough. 
and I think I want I think I want more of the rough I sound like Tina Turner we like it nice and rough <laughs> yeah yep I do I may pause and go find it and uh, and sort through and the only I you know I can just walk over there now with my handy dandy mic but I don't know how long this is going to take and I don't want to waste my my precious time so I'm going to pause and uh, I'll have papers here in a flash in the flashiest of flashes okay so I actually found some old paper that I do need to use up these papers I was experimenting with my clothes drying rack and I was experimenting with just draping them over it to dry like this and I discovered that it left wrinkles in the center that I didn't really enjoy even no matter how hard I ironed them so this will be a good reason to simply fold these in half wherever that is and um, do a torn edge see how they're I'm wondering if I should press them again sometimes you can um, steam them re-wet them to, in essence and repress them and see if that'll help on the other hand I do believe it adds to the character of the book and you know I like a book with a goodly amount of character so if I have there's nine signatures so if it's in one yeah if I do one three five seven and nine so let's do yeah let's do three that'll be good now I've got the wherefore and the why stuck in my head <laughs> that's a good song to have stuck in your head if you want to have a good day it's a happy song Now these, um, I actually want to cut both ends off. And I may take a chance with my cutting board. I'm not very happy with my cutting board these days. I'm really, really not. Um, every once in a while, I really am convinced that they are, these things are not even. But, because I, I tried using it the other day, and honestly, the paper came out crooked and uneven. Not 90 degree angles, my corners. Uh, but, in its defense, I must admit, I didn't have it flat I had it see how this is you can't tell it but it's hanging off the edge of my desk and I think that's how I cut it it wasn't laying flat on the surface so we're going to try it flat on the surface with the edges flush and see if that helps We'll see. It's just paper, right? It's just paper. This whole thing is just one grand experiment that hopefully will result in a in a pretty book. All right. So I don't necessarily want to make a resolution 
but I do think I'd like to revamp my, what am I saying revamp? I'd like to set up a week itinerary for me so that I know what day of the week, you know, like for example, Nancy does her throw out the trash Tuesdays and, you know, I know, I know of a few journal creators who have a specific day that they do, like uh, Barbara has her Sunday snacks, that sort of thing. So I'm thinking, and I, it's not necessarily that I want to have a theme for a video. That's not what I mean. Um, what I want to do is I'd like to decide on a day of the week that instead of journals, I work on some other creative thing for me. Just just a, a creative outlet. Um, and I'd also like a day of the week, or at least like an hour out of a morning, and, uh, and know that, yes, this is, you know, oh, it's, for example, Thursday morning. And th that's the day I, and then, you know, decide, is it clean my room? Is it, um, for example, I want to finish re redoing all my laces and get my laces sorted out. Um, so I'd almost like to decide, but I don't feel like doing it all in one fell swoop. It honestly will take me, if I did it all day long, I think it would take me two days <laughs> to get all my laces sorted out. These will still get used. That's a fair bit of paper. Um, so I'm not sure. Um, but I'd like to sort of sit down and decide on my priorities. And I do think I need a paperwork, at least a paperwork morning every week. It just can't all be fun and games. <sighs> Making art and some crafty things. I have paperwork that I have to do, whether it's my own finances or family finances, or whether it's like today, I ended up having to work on my mother's estate. And that's going to keep going because she passed away in 2021. So I still have things like her taxes, even though she only lived for two months in 2021. She was alive in 2021. Taxes need to be filed. So I think I need to just decide, you know, this day is my paperwork. Two hours on Tuesday mornings is paperwork day. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking anyways. All right, let's see. I think this will, so four. Oh, there's that pretty one. I put it in the middle. I had it on the front, but I don't, it'll get covered up. I plan on putting the first page of the original text block. And if I put it on that one, it would cover up all that beautiful gold. So that's why I switched it. Oh, okay, I made too many. Well, maybe I'll put them in anyways. And I might have to take some out, and I probably am going to have to put these back in the press again tonight. Yeah, you know what? It still needs... I want more in there. Let's put one in. Put one in here. I just want more. I sound like Ariel. I want more. <laughs> Musical day. All right. Now I'm gonna have to recount all the pages. That still leaves me with a nice pinch here. But it gives me lots and lots of writing space. And it gives me room to put in sewing and a few laces. I don't want to put in a lot of lace, but I do want to put in a little bit of flat lace, which is why I had this out. I think what I'm going to do, I think I can make this go further because I think I can cut it down the center and use both sides. And it's so pretty and dainty and delicate. And that's what I want. I don't want anything that's going to be too overwhelming because I really think this cover is already quite, quite awesome. Very happy with how it turned out.
especially that. That looks really great. <sighs> hmm. Now I'm not sure what I have to do since that, um, since I'm going to put this, I'm, I am going to put this back into the press. There's too much new paper in there. I can already see there's a huge difference just adding those folios of paper. So I might go, I wonder if I should go grab my cardstock and just make some more and make some more thingamajiggies. Hold on, I'm going to pause. So I can go find, not sure where I put them. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Because um, Nancy sent this and it is a cute little thread. And I believe she uses her envelope punch to create that nice shape. I don't have an envelope puncher. Um, but what I've done is I've freehanded. And it's, it's close, no cigar, but it's close. So I've been slowly moving my laces over. I was keeping my lace just on big long, you've probably seen them before, big long, I, I was cutting up game boards and putting like three or four laces per game board. But I have tons of these, absolutely tons. I, had, I got three full packages. These are the folder dividers from, um, like I used two of them in Mrs. Cratchit. Oops, sorry. And uh, they're, they're much heavier and sturdier than a regular file folder. These are really, really thick. So they're really great to hold lace. Um, let me find somewhere to put this. So I've been cutting them up and making paper spools, I guess you'd call it. You know what? I don't think I turned my timer on. And then I've been doing them approximately four inches wide because um, about three and three quarter because this is not quite 12 inches uh, wide. So I've just been sort of eyeballing it. And that way I get six per card, six spools. I'm calling it a spool because it's spool shaped, but I guess in a way it's not because it's flat. But it does the trick. So three and three quarter ish. I'll just use the big ones for wide lace. I totally lost. I went right off the ruler there. It's completely off. Oh well. I totally lost track of what day it was yesterday. I went around all day yesterday. Now keep in mind, I am oh, I hate this. So this is nine and a half. So I need it to be about four and three quarters. Um, I spent I spent all day yesterday thinking it was Tuesday. Today, I'm taping on Thursday, even though you'll be watching it on Friday. Um, I completely, and it was Wednesday all day. I, there I was all day thinking, oh, it's Tuesday. It's, you know, I got lots of time this week to get all this done. No, I didn't. <laughs> Lost a day somewhere. Oh boy. If it wasn't winter, my husband has to work this weekend. He works one weekend a month. And uh, if it wasn't winter, my little book sale would be open and I would go on Saturday. But it's winter, so I guess I'll just have to hang out here tomorrow. 
maybe I should see about doing a live session. Mind you, I don't know. Usually I do, I do a live session for either something that's very stressful and I really need a lot of emotional support <laughs> or else it's just something really monotonous. <laughs> I guess this is monotonous. I could be sorting lace, but it's not very exciting. Usually I would think for other people going live, you're instructing them and showing them something to do. I don't know. So I just freehand, I go in a little bit and then I curve and go up and then I do it from the other end. And I just, you know, about a half an inch from there, go in, curve up and do that. That's all I do. So it's not fancy, but it definitely gets the job done. And I'm really looking forward to having my laces better um look at that look at that what a mess uh, having my laces more sorted out and i may even if i see some laces that i think seriously are you ever going to use this lace i may get ruthless oh I picked out new glasses. I can't remember if I told you I picked out new glasses, but I picked out new glasses. I'm so excited about them. They, uh, they're striped. <laughs> I love fun glasses. If you've got to have glasses on your face, and mine have been on my face for over 60 years. Um, I love when, I like a nice balance between fun and interesting, but that I don't look totally silly for example my glasses that i've got on today now no laughing at how thick my prescription is but they've got polka dots oh polka dot glasses how cute <sighs> anyhow my new ones uh are striped they are striped it's a very dark blue you'd almost think they're black but it's very very dark blue and clear and they got stripes on them I'm so excited, but there's a real backlog um, because of people phoning in sick. This Omicron variant is just cleaning out businesses left, right, and center with people home sick. Fortunately, it seems to be quite mild. Thank goodness. But anyhow, so I was told that my, my new glasses could take about 10 days, but I can't wait. It's so fun to get new glasses. And then I picked out some other ones that are just, they're nice, they're pretty, they, they look, they actually look like some glasses I used to have. Um, but they're still, they've been, they're a little bit different, so they're in style. Um, they look a little Whoopi Goldbergish. I like Whoopi. So who knows? Well, I bet I'm way over 30 minutes right now because I'm quite sure I didn't set my timer. And the last time I checked, it was at like 25 minutes. So I might finish this and then look and see. <sighs> oh, dinner. Oh, chicken fajitas. Yeah, chicken fajitas tonight for dinner. Yes. Like that. Because that means chicken fajitas for lunch tomorrow. And that's good too. So this is one of those things that I want to not necessarily sit and do for two days. I do, I literally have a laundry basket full of lace. Um, and they are on cards. Let me show you. So I don't have to get up and go over. Here's some of the ones that I've been taking the see how that was a book cover and this is a, obviously from a box and I would have three different ones on the one card problem is I keep them upright like that I can't see what the lace is on the bottom because they're all upright in my big laundry basket so my plan is I have a table in the center of my room it might be time to do another studio tour if I can get this room tidy looking mind you who am I fooling it's a working room um, anyhow 
I have a table in the center. It wasn't always a table. Well, it was in a way. It was my daughter's baby change table. And uh, I put a top onto it because it had a ledge around the edge. So I put a top onto it, but it's got a shelf underneath that has an edge around it. And what I want to do is I want to put all my laces and just completely fill up this lower shelf. It's honestly, it's not quite as big as my, my desktop. So I think I could fit all my laces and ribbons underneath this desk. It would be clearly viewable and easily accessed. I'm really hoping that that works out. That's my plan anyhow. Get them out of the laundry basket and get them into something, get them more in view. Maybe I'll use them more often. We'll see. So this is what, this is what I've been doing for a few days, even though it seems like I haven't been around. I have just been doing paperwork. Yuck. All right. Let me take a look, see how we are for time. Oh gosh, yeah, 36 minutes. Enough, enough already, Catherine. Okay, I'm going to get going. Um, perhaps I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe I'll have more laces done to, uh, to show you. Take care, everyone. We'll talk soon. Bye.